Hey my loves, welcome back. Today I have got a mobility flow that's going to mobilize your spine and help you to move more freely throughout your day or it's perfect to do before going to sleep. So go find your workout space and let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna get started standing, finding that standing position. I just want you to try to soften through the body. So just a little soft bend in the knees, nice and relaxed through the shoulders and just letting everything just release there. Nice and soft through the feet. We're gonna take a nice big inhale, palms reach up, exhale, release. So you can add this little bend to the knees if that feels good. So big inhale. Exhale, few more here. Big inhale and exhale. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed if you like. One more here, big inhale. And then on your exhale, just want you to start to fold it forward. So just coming all the way down to the floor. You can have a big bend in your knees if your hamstrings are quite tight. Just letting the head, neck and shoulders fall nice and heavy. And then you're just gonna grab your opposite elbow with your hands and we're just gonna sway side to side. Still breathing nice and deeply here. Big inhales and exhales. Good, last two. And last one there. From here, we're just gonna shuffle the feet a little bit wider apart and then we're going to release the arms we're going to bring our left hand to our right ankle going in for a little twist and then that right hand is coming up towards the ceiling finding that twist through that spine once again you can keep that little bend in the knee as we reach for that ceiling stretching through that right hamstring a couple breaths here and then if you would like to take your right hand around your waist, going into that bind for a deeper stretch, go for it. <sighs> Try to really just relax into your muscles releasing. One more breath here. <sighs> releasing that arm if you have it in that bind. Coming back to the center and opposite sides. So right hand, left leg, left arm up towards the ceiling for that little twist and then if you want to take that bind go for it just keep breathing nice and deeply here good we'll let that release just bringing the feet a little bit closer together letting everything fold forward nice and heavy once again Good. from here big inhale we're going to come to a half lift hands can come to the shins nice tall spine exhale release one more here inhale and exhale and then from here we're just going to start to walk the hands out and going into a little down dog here so you can just lower and rise one heel at a time if that feels good Otherwise, you can just stay nice and still. So spreading all 10 fingers, arms are nice and long, keeping a nice big bend in the knee if that feels good. Last two with the heels. Good, last one. Alrighty, just coming to a little bit of stillness now. We're gonna take a nice big inhale, exhale, send it forward, just coming straight into a little tabletop here. So hands are gonna be nice and flat to the ground, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. From here, we're just gonna move through a few cat and cow. So big inhale as you drop that belly. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Big inhale, really try and flow with that breath here. Last two. And last one. 
Now you can either stay doing some cat and cows or you can just start to wiggle around a little bit and just do any sort of movement that feels good. I just want you to really try and get movement through the spine, through the back. You can circle your waist around, you can rock the shoulders, rock the head. There's no rules here, so just do whatever you like. Go wherever your body takes you. Good, just keep breathing nice and deeply. All right, and then bring it back to centre, just taking the knees nice and wide here, and then just start to send the hips back to the heels for a little child's pose. Reaching those arms out really nice and long here, and just sinking with the breath. Okay, then from here, nice big inhale. On the exhale, you're gonna walk your hands over to your right side, and we're gonna do a nice big stretch through the left side of your body. Fingertips are nice and long here. And I just want you to bring your attention to the left side of your body, and as you're breathing, really visualize yourself breathing into that left lung. Another big breath in here. On that exhale, we'll walk it back to center. Good, big inhale. Exhale, walking over to that left side, breathing into the right side of the body, the right lung. For a couple of breaths. Big breath in here, and then exhale. We'll walk it back to center. Coming back up, just bringing the knees back towards each other, and then just walking the hands forward, coming onto our tummies. So, getting nice and comfortable here on the floor. You're gonna have your shoulders underneath your, sorry, your um, elbows underneath your shoulders. Take your feet just a little bit wider here and then hands resting nice and flat. We're just gonna slightly tuck that tailbone forward, lifting up through your chest, going into a little back bend here. So I don't want you to go too fast with this or put too much pressure through the back. Just a gentle little back bend, little stretch there. If that's enough for you, you can stay here. Otherwise you can bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Just take it a little deeper. Just maintain a nice little soft bend in the elbows. And once again, we'll just flow with that breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Good, and exhale. Try to keep the shoulders down as you do this. Let's make this one, next one, our last one. Big inhale. And exhale. Good, then from here, just walk the knees in. Just coming to a seated position. Just having our feet nice and flat to the floor with the bent knees. Arms are gonna reach out nice and long to start, roll the shoulders down and back. We're just gonna interlace those hands putting them on the front of the knees. If you wanna bring your knees a little closer together, do that. And then from here, we're gonna take a nice big inhale, sitting up really nice and tall. And then as we exhale, I'm gonna round through the spine. So think about doing your cat and cows here. We're just doing it in like a seated position. So you can use your hands to pull back onto the knees to get that tension and feel that stretch. Big inhale, pull the shoulders down, nice tall spine, lift your chin, exhale around. Good. Last one here. And exhale. Round. All right, sit up nice and tall. 
arms are reaching out nice and long. You can walk your feet out a little bit more if you like. And then we're just gonna start to tuck under with our tailbone and slowly roll it all the way down, coming into our little bridge position here. So palms are nice and relaxed by our sides to start. Walk your feet back in towards your glutes. We're gonna take a nice big inhale here, squeezing the glutes and hamstrings, articulating, articulating that vertebra one at a time, making our way up into that little bridge. So as you're doing this, I want you to ground your feet into the floor. Close down the eyes and just really think about your spine, just peeling up one vertebra at a time, just nice and slowly. Good, if you wanna rise your arms up towards the ceiling, go for it. So I don't want this to feel too strong on the glutes, just really trying to move through our spine. Good, we'll make this next one our last one. And if you haven't got your palms up, I want you to reach them up as the hips lift and then reach them up and overhead, letting them come down towards the floor. And then we're just gonna stay here for a nice big breath in. And a long breath out. Good, and just start to slowly roll it all the way back down nice and slowly. And then we'll bring the palms back by our sides. Just taking the feet a little bit wider here. And then we're just gonna start by dropping our left knee to our right ankle and then switching. So just getting a little bit of movement there through the legs. Just going nice and slow, moving those knees side to side. Go for the last three, last two, and last one there. We'll bring the knees together. Give yourself a nice big squeeze here. Good, and then release. As we release, we'll extend our legs out nice and long. We're gonna start by hugging that right knee into the chest, little squeeze. If it's too intense with your um, left leg down, you can always bend it up just so it's not as intense. Big squeeze here, and then we're gonna extend our right leg towards the ceiling. So really try and flex your right toes. Just gonna stretch through the hamstring a little bit. And once again, you can have that soft bend in the knee. Um, and just with the hands, try not to pull too much. Just have them resting on the back of your leg wherever feels comfortable. And same thing with the left leg, you can keep it bent or straight. A few breaths here. On this next breath, big inhale, we're gonna bend our right knee and then with our left hand, we're just gonna guide it across the body coming into an easy twist. And then your arms can come out to a T shape or they can come into a little cactus shape. Wherever you are with the hands, I just want you to look towards your right. And really try to keep that right shoulder pressed into the floor. A few breaths here. We'll gently lift that knee up, popping it back down and then we'll switch legs. So hugging that left knee in towards the chest, little squeeze there. And just remember you can keep that right knee bent throughout this if that feels better. And then we'll extend that leg towards the ceiling. Try to keep your left toes nice and flexed and just a gentle little press there with the hands. So really try to focus on your breath to breathe through those muscles, releasing that tension. One more breath. And then we'll grab that left knee with our right hand twisting over towards the right. Arms can be out in that T shape or they can come to that cactus shape, wherever you prefer and then you can just gaze past 
that left side. Just really try and keep that left shoulder down as you do this. Try to get a little deeper into that each time. Getting that rotation through that spine. Take a nice big breath in and exhale, just guiding it back to center. From here, soles of the feet can come together, um, grabbing for the feet there, letting the knees fall out to the side, or if you want to go into a happy baby, just separating the feet, grabbing the outside edges of your feet, and then you can just rock side to side if that feels good. Just a little sway here. One more big breath in. Come back to center. Give yourself a big hug, lifting that chest up, a little squeeze. Good, and then we'll slowly rock ourselves up forward, coming up to a seated position here, just nice and comfortable. From here, we're gonna inhale those arms up and then take a little twist towards our left. So try to relax your shoulders here, grow nice and tall on that spine, gaze past that left shoulder. Try not to push too hard or force anything, just a little twist. Good, and then we'll inhale it up. Exhale, twisting to the right. Good, let's take a nice big inhale. Palms reach up, this time we're gonna side bend over to the left. Good, try to let the top hand just be a little bit floppy there and reach through your lats. Good, big inhale. Exhale, other side. <laughs> Love this stretch, it feels so good. Good, let's come back to center. And then we'll just let the hands relax by our sides. From here, we're gonna grab our left hand and we're gonna place it on our right ear. I'm just gonna stretch out that neck. We're gonna take our right fingertips down to the floor and then really try to press your hands into the floor. And you're gonna feel a nice big stretch there. If you wanna take this one a little bit deeper, you can bring your right fingertips behind the waist and then just have a little play around with that neck. You can just sort of rock it forward and back, and then just stop wherever you feel that nice big stretch. Just try and keep your gaze nice and soft. And breathe nice and deeply. So just remember, you're not pulling your head down, it's just a little press. Good, and then we'll release there, and then just soft sides. So left hand, sorry, right hand, left ear, Left fingertips are pressing into the floor. You can bring them behind your waist. Good, and then you can just add that little rock if you like. Keeping that gaze nice and soft. Good, and then we'll gently release, and then you can just sort of shake the head out a little bit. Little side to side, little up and down. Good, meet me back in the center, and you guys are all finished. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you can move more freely throughout your day, or you're feeling nice and relaxed to go to bed.